Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles, the Bearded Teacher, and today I want to show you how you can record with remote guests and co-hosts for your podcast. You know, a lot of times we want to record with people that either don't live near us or we can't get together with them in person, and there's actually lots of great tools for recording with people remotely anywhere in the world, as long as you have a good internet connection, where you can get high quality audio and video recording and make it easier to edit after the fact. So I'm going to show you some free options and some paid options for audio and video. Before we jump into it, this video is sponsored by Buzzsprout. I love Buzzsprout for podcast hosting. It's where I host movies on the side. And they have this incredible feature that you won't find many other places. It's called Magic Mastering. And if you're new to podcast editing and maybe you're not super confident on levels and all that, you can use this Magic Mastering feature to make sure your podcast sounds great, that all the levels are even, that people aren't gonna be turning that volume knob up and down as they try to listen to your podcast. It's a great option, especially for those just beginning. So check out Buzzsprout. They even have a totally free tier where you can upload two hours of audio every month, like totally for free. So check it out. Link is in the description. All right, well, the first tip that you really need to know whenever you record with a remote guest, you're going to be using your computer, obviously. You might actually use a mobile device. We'll get to that in a little bit. But the first thing you need to remember to do is use headphones. You have to use headphones when you record with a remote guest. You can't have their voice coming out of the speakers of your computer or the speakers of your device while you're trying to record on your end also. If you've ever tried to record with their voice coming out of speakers, you know editing like that could be a nightmare. So step one, make sure you use headphones. They don't have to be good headphones or expensive headphones. You can just use built-in Apple wired headphones, whatever. But make sure that you have their voice in your headphones and not coming out of any speakers so your microphone is not going to pick up their voice. So that's step one. Make sure you use headphones. Now, here's a couple free options for recording with remote guests, especially if you're doing just audio. These first couple options is audio only, which is a majority of podcasts. And if you want to do video, there's some great options for that later. Even video from your iPhone. Yeah, believe it or not. So we'll get to that in a second. The first option is completely free, and it would be using an application like Skype. You can use Zoom, although you have to be careful with time limits if you have more than two people on the call, or FaceTime on the Mac. So you would make the call to the other person using one of those applications, and then you would record your audio on your computer, and your co-host or guest needs to record their audio locally on their computer. Now you can do this on a Mac very easily, and again for free. Macs have an application called QuickTime, and QuickTime is built into every Mac. You already have it. You can use the little magnifying glass to search for QuickTime. But once you open QuickTime, you can do File, New Audio Recording, and make sure your microphone is selected. If you're using a USB microphone or an XLR interface, you click this little arrow here, make sure you've chosen the right interface. And when you hit this little record button, it'll record your audio directly on your computer for editing later. Your co-host or guest has to do that as well. But this could use Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, all those tools you can use to make the call and then you record it separately. Now, I also use an application called Audio Hijack. Once you get to actually doing this, more often or even professionally, I would use an application like Audio Hijack as you'll see here. And the reason why is Audio Hijack can record audio from applications, from audio devices, and a host of other things. So what I have here is actually an Audio Hijack window that records the audio coming from Skype, which is my co-host, and it records my input device, my microphone, into a separate audio file. So when I hit record here in Audio Hijack, I actually get audio from this microphone specifically and I get the audio that's coming through Skype. Now the audio that's coming through Skype won't be as high quality as the local recording, but I have it as a backup in case something goes wrong on my co-host's end. So that's a free option, mainly for audio. You can use Skype, FaceTime, or Zoom, and then record locally on your Mac in QuickTime or in an application like Audio Hijack. Or if you have a Windows PC, I'm sure there's an application like Audio Abacus that you can, no, I'm just kidding. I think Audacity is actually a free audio application on Windows that you could use to even edit your show afterwards. Now this next option I use every week for the Movies on the Side podcast. This is called TriCast and there's a free tier and there's also just a $10 tier. It's one of the cheapest for the most amount of recording time in one of these services. TriCast is a website. Now you do have to use it in Chrome or Brave. It will not work in Safari even on a Mac. But when you go to TriCast and you have an account, you open up a new session you choose your microphone input and your audio output, your headphones. And when you do that, you see this little session window. You can name the session. I usually do it a title with whatever the next episode number is. And all you do is send this link right here 
to your co-host or guest. They open it in Chrome or Brave. Again, it has to be one of those web browsers. And then you will actually do the call right here in TriCast. You'll see them pop up here under my name. You see audio levels in this little circle. And then you just click Start Recording. And the magic of TriCast is it records my audio locally and my guest locally without them even having to do anything. They just click this link and go to this web page. And once I start the recording, we do the whole podcast and stop recording, I can go in and download those audio files. And it was a local recording from their computer and from mine, and they're com- totally in sync. You do have to wait a few minutes after you stop recording for it to be available to download. But I found this to be pretty solid. I've been using it for about three years doing movies on the side. We've done it with three to four guests. You do have to be sure that you have a good internet connection. If you have a slow upload speed or just not a great internet connection, TriCast does have the tendency to fail. And there's been a couple instances where I lose a recording and that is just detrimental. It is a terrible feeling. But what you can do is record in something like Audio Hijack as a backup where I would get my microphone and my guest through Chrome or Brave web browser and I still have those backup files in case something were to happen. But in my experience, as long as you have a good internet connection, TriCast is a great option for audio only. $10 a month, that's what I've been paying. I've never gone over those 10 hours, even doing a show every week. As long as you're not doing like a four-hour show, you should be good to do a weekly show. You can also upgrade to the Pro at $30 a month to get a lot more time. So that's TriCast. The next option is called Zencaster. That's Zencaster, no E. Again, I'll put links to all these services in the video description. Zencaster is actually free for audio. So if you really don't want to pay anything, not even $10 a month, and you wanna do audio recordings with remote guests, you can do it with Zencaster. You don't have to pay anything. They actually are just adding some video features if you wanna do video podcasts with someone recorded in sync, but I think there's a better option for that I'll mention in a moment. But again, Zencaster, it does great for audio. I've used it several times. You load an interface just like this. You have to be in Google Chrome or the Brave web browser. You can invite someone with a link. You can send them an email or just copy the invite link here. And just like TriCast, they open that link in Brave or Google Chrome, they would appear here, and you're off to the races. You can start recording, you can choose to record just audio, record video and audio, or if you just wanna show the video so you can kind of talk and interact, but you only wanna record audio, you can do that too. That's kind of a cool feature of Zencaster. And you just hit the big start recording button. You then download those files, again, you get a local audio file from all of your guests or co-hosts, and then you can edit those later. So Zencaster is definitely a solid option. Again, you can even upgrade to that $20 a month plan if you wanna do more guests and you wanna do those video recordings like I said. Now this next option, I actually haven't had a chance to try personally, but I see a lot of people talking about it. I think it's gaining popularity. It's called Squadcast. Squadcast, again, is very similar to the options I mentioned before. It does audio and video. It does recordings locally. You upload it. It is a little pricier than some of the other options, especially for the video. Five hours of video and audio recording is $40 a month. Now they do have a bunch of other features like special audio features, audio mixes. You can transfer recordings to Dropbox automatically. So they do have some more features for it. But if you're really just looking for that ability to record with remote guests, it might be a little overkill. Again, they do have audio only plans. Two hours for $10 a month. Again, if you're just doing audio, I think TriCast is a better value there where you get 10 hours for $10 a month. You can get five hours for $20 a month. And yes, again, you get the high quality local recordings and cloud recordings for backups. So Squadcast has some additional features, but if you're just doing audio, I still recommend try TriCast first or Zencaster. And if you wanna do video and audio, there actually is, I think a top choice for video and audio podcast recording in sync with remote guests, and that is Riverside. Riverside has been really growing. They actually have an iPhone app now that you can use, and I'll show you that in a second. But Riverside starts at just $10 a month for two hours basic. Again, the prices go up depending on how much time you need. And if you want to live stream, you can actually live stream your video podcast recording to like YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter from Riverstream. That's a really cool feature, especially if you want to do like live YouTube shows with your guests or co-hosts. But Riverside is really cool. So this is my account right here. You create a studio basically for your show, whatever your show name is, if you want multiple studios for multiple shows, you can do that. And I'm gonna go to the studio here. I choose my name. 
And I'm using headphones. Again, you got to use headphones when you do this. It asks permission to use your camera, use your microphone, like a lot of these websites ask for, which it needs permission to be able to do the recording. And you'll see, there you go. You got the video, you got the audio. It has my audio device right there. It has the video device there. And for speakers, again, I can choose what speakers I want to use. If you have AirPods, you can do that. And when you join the studio, again, this is kind of really cool. It, it has your video here, really high quality. And then I can send a link. I just copy this link to my co-host or to my guest and their video will show up right here. Pretty sweet. And then here on the right column here in Riverside, it actually tells you what devices you're using for input and output, audio and video. And it even tells you what your guests and co-hosts are using when they connect and what video quality they're on. Pretty cool features for this kind of thing. Again, you can invite other people. You can actually add some media, like if you wanna do slides, even lower thirds, you could do that. And again, you can start recording. Recording is down here. You can change speaker, mic settings, all that. You can share your screen. If you wanna share your screen during the podcast, of course, you can leave the call. And now once you record it, you can download these files. You get several options of audio and video files to download from your studio. And so after you're done with your recording out of the studio, you can go to your view all recordings. You'll see that wonderful image of me testing out Riverside the other night. You get clips, you can download the audio files, the video files, MP4. And if you have multiple guests, there's actually constant frame rate video that would help in the syncing of the video and audio. So you might want to do that. But Riverside, really cool, reasonably priced, does great audio and video. And so if you really want to get into this, maybe even live stream your stuff, Riverside is a great option. And the coolest part is they actually just came out with a new app for iPhone called Riverside. So with the Riverside app for iPhone, you can actually do audio and video calls right here in the app with a guest. You can send the link to your guest just like normal. You could then add people right here. You can add people like a guest or even an audience member, send them the link. But the amazing thing is you can actually record this call right on your iPhone. Again, I would suggest using AirPods or something like that. You hit the record button right down there. And you can actually get high quality local recordings from this and download it from your Riverside account right from the iPhone app. I mean, this is just a really cool feature to be able to record these remote podcasts from a mobile device. So that app is on the iPhone right now. It's not on the iPad just yet. You can actually download the iPhone app on the iPad, but I'm not sure how well it works. It's kind of in that weird window for iPhone apps, but I really hope, and it looks like they're expanding that app support. It should be on the iPad soon. But if you're on the road and you want to record with a remote guest, even via video, this is an awesome tool to use it for the iPhone. But to recap, if you want to record with remote guests and co-hosts and you're doing audio only, I recommend trying either FaceTime or Skype with a local recording in QuickTime, or you can do TriCast or Zencaster. Those are great inexpensive options, even free options. If you want to do a show with remote guests with video, Squadcast is an option and Riverside.fm is really leading the pack on features and especially this iPhone app is pretty sweet. So I hope that was helpful. If you have more questions about recording podcasts in general or recording with remote guests, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the video description below. I'd love to answer them via video or if it's a short question, I can answer it in the comments. You can also shoot questions to me on Twitter at Stephen Robles. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Bearded Teacher YouTube channel, I have videos on there on how to edit podcasts on iPad, how to build a website in Squarespace, where you should go to host your podcast, the best podcast hosting platforms out there right now. And again, I'd love to hear suggestions from you about future tutorial and how-to videos. Also check out my YouTube shorts. There's a lot of cool tips in the shorts video as well. You can also check out all the podcasts that I host down in the video description as well. Movies on the Side, Apple Insider Show, and HomeKit Insider. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.